Okay, so before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let y'all know that today's video is a one of three video series, right? Where we're gonna be giving away a battle pass or a skin for Baron Samedi. Um, all you have to do is watch today's video and somewhere in today's video, I'm gonna hide a three uh, digit number, right? Make sure that you write that number down. As long as you watch all three videos in this series and then on the last video, which is probably gonna be Sunday's video, right? Um, there's going to be a link in the description of that video. You follow that link is going to take you to our website where you can actually submit to um, the drawing for the battle pass or the skin. Uh, what you're going to do is when you get to that uh, website, you're going to see where you can put all three codes and then some way of contacting you. We need either your email or your Discord ID where we can send you a private message. Because what happened is as Smite partner, Smite gave me a battle pass code and a, battle, and, and a skin code that can work on console and PC. But if I don't have any way of contacting you, man, uh, you're going to get disqualified. I have to find some way of being able to give you this code, right? Uh, again, all you got to do is just watch for those numbers, write them down. Sundays, follow that link in the description and submit. And then on Tuesday during our 1130 Eastern Standard Time stream, right? And then we're going to be multi uh, streaming on both YouTube and on Twitch. But you're going to have to be a YouTube subscriber in order to qualify to be in this drawing, right? So on Tuesday at 1130 Eastern Standard Time, somewhere throughout that stream, we're going to put all the qualified um, subscribers in the Wheel of Fortune, right? So uh, you guys seen the Wheel of Fortune. We put everybody's name on there and it all looks like that show Wheel of Fortune when you put your name on, on one of the um, little wedges and we're gonna spin it live on the stream. And the first person is gonna win a skin and the second person is gonna win a battle pass. This is that simple, man. All you gotta do is watch the video, write down the number, Put it on the website and then come check us out on Tuesday to see if you won. For some reason, if you cannot make it to our stream on Tuesday, don't worry about it. As long as you gave me a good contact um, email or Discord ID where I can send you the code, you do not have to be present to win. You just have to qualify um, with all the things I just said prior to this, right? So, hey, man, without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Welcome back to the Guardians of the Gaming Channel. Today we're playing Hell in our post 9.11 Smite Arena build. So for today's build, we're going to use Chronos Pin and Spear, Desolation, Soul Gem, Rhodocephalus, Polynomicon, and Soul Reaver. I think that this build is going to work out beautifully for Hell because it's going to allow her to do some really high heals, but not, and not at the sacrifice and not being able to do damage. And man, the passes of that Polynomicon and that Soul Reaver, I think, is going to work beautifully for Hell. In addition to that uh, Soul Gem, especially now that they buff soul gem we only need three stacks to set it off but hey man before we get into today's video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and turn on those notifications we tend to put out videos weekly and we're now streaming live on twitch every um tuesday 11 30 eastern standard time and if you're looking for some really cool people to play with man don't forget about our discord we have awesome people from all around the world playing daily in our discord i put an invite to that in the description of any of our videos and our website guardsofgaming.com so hey man is this build gonna work for us i don't know but we're about to find out Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go with our post 9.11 build for hell. Uh, let's see what we got going. Let's see what we got going. Uh, you know what? Let's go with B just in case. Now, today we're in a full subscriber group, so hopefully we have a very good run. I tell you what, man, the pug groups have been atrocious ever since the update. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the matchmaking that's jacked up or we just got a bunch of newbies because of the RuneScape thing. But it's just been very bad, very bad. The comps have been just ferocious. But that's why I'm glad we're in a full subscriber group, baby, because the teamwork you know is going to be there. Now, Hell is actually a really cool god, man, because you can play her as a healer or you can play her as a damage dealer or you can do a hybrid type of play style, right? Um, so that makes her uh, very awesome for many different types of play styles. Uh, now, what I like doing is pretty much staying in healing mode early game where her uh, damage is very low, but her utility to her group is high, especially if you go against a team that has a lot of CC, right? Because she's one of the few guys in Smite that actually has a cleanse in the way of her too, that we can actually cleanse CC off your, a small AOE cleanse a, uh, CC off your um, teammates. So they get hit with something, you just throw that on them and boom, they're immune to CC for a little bit. There you 
go. And you got that nice big heal with the one. Now, the one is not that easy to land, though, because sometimes your um, allies don't know you're trying to heal them, and they'll end up, you know, um, juking you, so you end up missing your, your uh, heal on them. Uh, and that could be very, very annoying at times, let me tell you. But, you know, it is what it is. They don't do it on purpose. It's just sometimes it feels like that, right? Pull down a little slow right now. Good deal. Good deal. Go ahead and take care of some of these minions. Where are people back? Alright. And rinse and repeat. <laughs> Now it looks like the um, the enemy team is doing a 4v5. Yeah, ever since the update, man, the servers have been running really horrible, dude. Horrible lag, people DCing, attacks not going off. It's it's getting worse and worse, man. Uh, to a lot of players in our subscriber group, uh, our subscribers in our uh, Discord, I should say, is getting to the point where a lot of them don't even want to play anymore, man. And I feel them. There's times when I'm like, dude, this is just getting too much. I mean, it gets really bad, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? So, main idea of the story is, if you've seen that, it's not your computer system or your console. It's the actual servers, man, or the game itself. It's just acting the fool because of the, the uh, update. See, I hate when that happens. Oh, I killed him right before I could heal him. <laughs> unfortunately. One millisecond too late, unfortunately. Alright, let's get there. Let's get there. Yeah, I can't wait to get my cooldown reduction. That's why I like starting her with high cooldown reduction. Because she's very dependent on her cooldowns. That's what I was looking for. Let's go. Yeah, Hell's one of those guys that will constantly keep you uh, busy, especially like playing that hybrid mode when you go back and forth depending on the situation, like a lot of top tier um, Hells do. Which I am not a top tier Hell player, but you know, we'll get there one day. I just missed him. Come on. Cooldowns are just ferocious right now, boy. <laughs> Give me my spirit desolation, please. There we go. That's going to help out a lot. I think I might even go get this too. Get full cooldown reduction. That's what she really needs, man. She's so dependent on cooldown, it's not even funny. There we go. There we go. Activate support form. Nice. Very nice. Engage destructive core. Activate 
Here we go. Yeah, we didn't have big heals, but we had enough to keep her alive. <laughs> that was enough to keep her alive. Let's go. I get the minions, boy. All right. Engage destructive My movement speed, baby. Let's go. All right, that soldier. Soldier just got buffed not too long ago, so it works out really, really well. Go, 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 go. go. Let's see my peeps here. The debuff on him and hit him. Let's go. The killing spree very nice, very nice. Increased by I can help our peeps. Yeah. An impressive battle. Very nice, very nice. Souls well trying to get there, dude. I'm trying to get there. What a rampage. Alright, good deal, good deal. I can get some mana because I'm not going to help nobody if I don't have no mana. <laughs> but we were, we were able to get a couple of good pops off before we had it back. Go, 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 go. But you see, man, you're constantly doing something with hell. Hell's definitely one of those guys that you're not going to get bored with because you're constantly going to be doing something. No. 
Ooh go, 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 go. Very nice, very nice. Dude, our team's on fire, dude. But they're, I mean, keep in mind that we are playing at 4v5, so I mean, it is what it is. We can't take it away from our team, though, for doing good. There we go. Movement speed and bonus healing. That's what we needed. Get that <laughs> that cleanse off. Let's go. I didn't realize they got their person back too. Good stuff. Alright, drop her go ahead and drop our bracer. I can get some more mana. Rinse and repeat, baby. So far, the build is working out really, really nice. We're getting some really nice healing and some nice damage, I think. So everything is working well thus far. Come on! Golly, dude, here we go with the not changing stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice, very nice. Ooh, the build worked out really, really well. Dude, having that Polynomicon definitely adds to the damage. Of course, having that life still doesn't hurt either, man. Let's see how we did. <laughs> Dude, that was a crazy game. Now, granted, they probably played like a good quarter, maybe even half of it, or 4v5, but it doesn't matter. I don't care about the win or lose. I already care about the how the build worked out, and it seemed like the build worked out beautifully. Like I said, I'm not a top-tier um, hell player, but it seemed like it came out all right. Let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. <laughs> Booba, you're constantly doing something. Okay, so we came out 6, 1, and 17. 21,000 player damage, 10,000 million damage. And all, not a bad run with hell. And we healed for 16,000 points of damage, uh, which is really, really good, actually. Especially for a, a single point healer like that. So we came out with 555 magic item power. We came out with 24 life steal, 15 flat pin, full cooldown reduction. So that's not bad at all. Plus, we had the passive of that uh, Soul Gem that healed as much as did the AoE damage. The passive of that Rada Sepolis that gave us the extra uh, movement speed plus the extra 20% to our heals, right? And, of course, the Polynomicon that adds that damage. But, hey, man, that's our post 9.11 build for hell are you playing hell and pose 9.1 and so uh 9.11 i should say so put your building comments down below i'd love to see what you're rolling with right if you haven't subscribed yet man what are you waiting for we're trying to get to that 5,000 sub mark so any help you can give us we'd really appreciate it so hit that subscribe button again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'm dark garza your og on gc see you next time